Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your general forecast for the month of April. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So, Gemini, we are going to take a look at the energy around you at this time. So, it could be anything. It could be love. It could be general. It could be work, career, finance. It could be anything. We will take it as it comes. So, Gemini, I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter male or female watching take it out as it resonates for you if it's not resonating for you then it's not your story please don't try to make it fit and then leave me a ton of comments because i will delete them so please please keep that in mind hold out for future readings or you can check the description box below for past readings your playlist love in general are there so feel free to check them out i do consider them all timeless so feel free to check that out and this could be past, present, or future too. So please keep that in mind. So let's see what we have for Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. This is a zodiac oracle. So we could, could get a sign, element, or planet. And we'll see how that plays into your reading, Gemini. And Gemini, also in the description box below, you can find the decks I'm using, links to purchase them for yourself if you wish to. Uh, social media links also how to reach out for personal reading if you would like to do that and if you'd like to tip donate send a gift uh anything like that that info is below as well as a tip uh pin top to comment and if you're not comfortable using paypal for energy exchanges or anything like that um super chat is open during the premiere only for tips and donations energy exchanges and if you do thank you all right gemini Let's see what we get for Gem Gemini, Gemini sign, element, or planet. We'll see how that plays into your reading. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, that is totally fine. But let's see. Usually I can incorporate it in some way where it does um, apply to the reading in some way. So we'll see for Gemini. Feeling that one. Gemini, Gemini. What do we have? Well, we have the sun energy which is Leo energy. So you could be dealing with a Leo or have dealt with a Leo um, or have Leo in your chart or know somebody who has Leo in their chart. Uh, Leo in the tarot does represent the sun. It also represents strength, which is about being courageous and brave and having willpower, determination, uh, stamina kind of energy, endurance, energy to hold back when you need to, taming the beast from within. And then the sun is happiness, joy, success, victory in every single way. Enlightenment, healing, happy home and family. It's the most positive card in the deck. But the zodiac version of the sun represents who you truly are. It's your birth sign, your sun sign. It's what makes you, you. So it's your originality. Um, it's your soul. It's who you are. It's what makes you, you. So let's see how that plays into your reading. Gemini. And I just noticed your three Gemini, the sun is 13, which equals four. So we got three, four. All right. So let's get an opening message. I will get an opening message with this deck for you, Gemini. And then I'll pull one for your energy. We'll clarify that energy with the tarot. And then whatever your situation is, we'll look at the actual situation, advice for the situation, possible outcome. And then I'll pull some Work Your Light oracles at the end for a little more uh, of a message. So what is the opening message for Gemini for this general forecast? Spirit, please. What is the message most needed for Gemini? There we go. What do we have here? The Wise Woman of Wonderland, Integrity, Compromise. And we have 21, which is 3 again. So we got three, four, we got three again. So three is about teamwork, collaboration, uh, people coming together. There may be something you need to um, hold your integrity on, but also compromise in because the three can represent teamwork, collaboration, compromise. There may be someone wise around you. Um, it could be a motherly figure or a fatherly figure. Uh, wise elder of some kind also who could probably give you some um, wise advice guidance hmm, okay 
So let's see what is your energy, what's going on. All right, that one definitely wanted to jump. Let's see what we have. So we have the River Queen, flow, letting go, natural movement, and we have 36, which is 9. Nines can be about endings and completions, and then we have 10, just the total completion, and then we have one for new beginning. So this is about uh, just letting things take its natural course, not rushing anything, going with the flow, letting go, and uh, just going with the flow. Let things take its natural course, I'm getting. If something's coming to a completion or an end, let it come to its natural end here. And the, I'm getting to with all the water in the River Queen, King or Queen, doesn't matter here. Could be a lot of emotions, Coming to the surface, deep feelings also, letting all of it just flow and letting it go. So let's see what the bottom of the deck has to say. The Diamond Dreamer, material wealth and true prosperity. And we have six. Six is all about healing and balancing energy. So I feel like... So I feel like some sort of material wealth or true prosperity will be coming in for you, but it's after a period of letting go of something and letting th things flow naturally and not rushing anything and dealing with feelings and emotions, but also being true to who you are in yourself, staying to, true to your originality, your, your soul mission, your soul purpose, and could be going for like counseling or something like that and getting wise advice and counseling of some kind through this uh, phase, whatever it is for you. All right, so let's see what's going on for you, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. what's going on for Gemini? Shuffle for Gemini. Let's clarify this energy for Gemini. What's going on for Gemini? This time, spirit, please. Whoa. So, yeah, I feel like you're resetting and re rebalancing yourself and resetting yourself to zero. This is about taking a leap of faith, jumping right in. But I feel like you're, you're just reading, resetting yourself like back to zero, like to have a new restart like in life. So if that means letting go of things, letting things flow naturally, taking its natural course, knowing, you know, with the diamond dreamer, material wealth and true prosperity, that what is coming in for you will be coming in for you. And then we have the page of swords. So you can be learning something online, um, honest, truthful communication between you and another. You could be spying on somebody, but if you're trying to like reset yourself, I don't necessarily think you'd be spying, but you could be learning something new online or just having very open, honest, truthful communication with somebody here. So let's see what else here for you, Gemini. What is this energy? Eight of Swords. So it's stuck in your head about something here. But I feel like you're re rebalancing yourself and resetting yourself back to zero. So seven of swords. A lot of sword energy here. It's that air energy. That's your energy. Queen of cups. So the seven of swords can be about sneaking away from something, lies, deceit kind of energy. It's like you're going backwards because we got the eight and then the seven. It's like going backwards, but like removing yourself out of like this bubble kind of, cause you see this man look like, looks like he is either climbing in or climbing out of something. So it's like you, you are like sliding yourself out of this bubble, like out of this stuck energy like taking steps backwards, but yet resetting yourself back to zero. If that makes sense. 
because then we have the nine of cups so nine of cups is a soul nine to me is like a solo energy um and nine here you know this nine of cups about fulfillment wishes and dreams coming true wish fulfillment happiness joy can be overindulgent kind of energy so just be mindful of that and now we have the queen of cups so if you're over overindulging right now just be careful of that whether it's food alcohol or something else then we have the queen of cups again which can be a motherly figure uh king or queen motherly fatherly so again like that wise elder very caring nurturing giving loving kind of energy you may be learning something here from a wise elder here on how to get to your wish fulfillment which may include getting out of uh, a stuck energy which i feel like you're getting out of a stuck energy and looking at like 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 it's like you're looking over your shoulder at your wish fulfillment here so you could be learning you could be learning uh how to reset yourself here getting out of a stuck energy or mindset or something like that all right what it's too many what is the actual situation here for Gemini eight of coins I feel like you're working on yourself your future yourself um, could be just working a lot in general stress fear worry anxiety I feel like you're working to get out of that mind out of a mindset and that's what I felt nine of swords can be that mindset stress fear worry anxiety the devil yeah toxic energy right in the middle of your spread here so negative thinking patterns uh, low self-esteem fear worry stress anxiety um, feeling trade trapped and uh, caged kind of energy I feel like you're working to get out of that energy I feel so you could be going for counseling or something like that guidance learning how to reset yourself I feel yeah you're ending the old patterns here death energy you're ending the old mindsets the blockages the toxic energy of the stress fear worry anxiety all that energy you're ending and transforming that energy all right so what else here let's get one more for ace of wands so you're wanting to reset your life having a new zest love passion for life again brand new fiery passionate beginning divinely guided here so seeing life in a whole new way a whole new set of eyes with fire zest passion excitement new endeavors projects hobbies ideas letting go of that energy so you can have this new energy come in so what got you in this energy i don't know but i feel like you're letting it go going with the flow and i think you're doing it with the help of somebody here in some way shape or form dreaming of your future better days to come better things to come better life because yeah palace of coins wow this is your advice for you gemini so in the king of cups so now we have a matching couple so it could be you know your mother your father you know wise advice guidance from them or divine counterpart but the palace of, palace of coins here is living in an energy of pure stability uh security growth abundance stable energy having everything you need not having to worry growth expansion eight of cups yeah i feel like you're walking away so this is just our advice here all right let's get one more here page of coins a very um stable communication news coming in very grounded communication and news so whatever learning this also could be about learning so whatever you're learning will lead you to this palace of coins there's only four palace cards in the deck this is the only deck that has them 
and they're very, very rarely come out. So just know this is, this is the place that you're going to. All this growth, abundance, security, uh, s stable energy. So whatever you're learning from a wise um, elder or person here that you need to walk away, energies, ways of thinking, you know, ways that you were in the past, is your advice here is to keep going with whatever you're doing here. Whatever you're learning, walking away from, energy is no longer serving you, is to keep uh, going in that direction. All right, so and I feel like you're dealing with your emotions and securities with the moon energy here. I could talk about um, emotions, feelings. Again, with the River Queen, dealing, you know, with feelings, emotions, energies. All right, so what is the possible outcome here for Gemini? The Empress, Emperor, Empress, doesn't matter. So knowing your value, your worth, growth, abundance, um, birth of new things, a new way, a new life. Feeling very abundant. All right, so what else here? Taking control, being a leader, being in control, the tower. So yeah, things have to cr crumble down before you can. So you're crumbling down this tower to build this palace is what I feel. So this is epiphany, aha moment, shake up, shake down, break up, surprise, aha moment, something like that. But I feel like. Whatever energy you were in before, you know, that's all crumbling down now to give way, give birth to like a whole new you. And now being that palace of coins. Yeah, queen of swords here. That's your energy, male or female. So having truth, clarity, uh, cutting away things, energies, things no longer serving you. Open, honest, truthful communication, telling it like it is, not taking any more BS from anyone. Very clear mind now. Wow, so, and I'm getting like transformation with the tower. So here's the Ten of Swords, so ending, ending of any ways that were no longer serving you. Nine of Coins, so being very stable, grounded, secure, abundant, um, independent in your own right, taking care of yourself. Dealing with your deep feelings, emotions, uh, cycles. Um, you know, maybe having still a little bit of fear, not seeing the path clearly. But you have good news coming in of some kind. So very fiery, passionate communication. Making a judgment call here to better your life, better uh, your way of thinking. You know, forgiving yourself, forgiving your past, forgiving those around you that you need to forgive. Um, making that final judgment call. Listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. Maybe you're not really telling many people, you know, what you're going through right now. But there will be a time here where you reunite especially not now, but in the future, reuniting, coming back together with um, your people, celebrating, having a good time. So here you go again, justice, balancing out your energy. Clarity, balance, justice, getting justice, giving yourself justice is what I'm feeling. So we have Libra, we have Pisces, we have Scorpio, we have Pisces again. Uh, let's see, we have Aquarius. Uh, let's see, we have, that was the Queen of Cups up there. So that's Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn. Uh, let's see here. Virgo, uh, Libra, Taurus, Aries, Queen of Swords here is Libra. King. And then we have the King of Cups, which is Pisces. I think that was it. Right. So those are the signs I see. So however that resonates for you. So let's get some extra messages for you with this deck. Gemini, I just feel like, like totally resetting yourself, like resetting, oh, resetting yourself like back to zero. And having like a new way of life. All right, so let's get some extra messages for you here, Gemini. Gemini. 
Gemini. I'm feeling resetting back to zero. Gemini. Dance with life. Do something to change your energy. Right. And you are doing that. Wow. You're doing that big time. Doing something to change your energy in your life. Wow. All right. Boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? So maybe you need to establish healthy boundaries for yourself and those around you. All right. Now that you're making uh, this big change, it's time to set healthy boundaries, if that makes sense, and take a break. A life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. So, you know, you're working hard. You could be working hard, working hard on transforming yourself, your energy, and, you know, take a break and just relax sometimes. Here I feel. And on the bottom, we have play, have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. Yeah, so you're very serious, but also don't forget to have fun. And it's hard to go out and play now, so do whatever you can to ease your mind, um, hobbies, or whatever here, indoor activities, outdoor activities, whatever you like to do that gives you peace of mind. Don't forget to play and take a break at times also. Okay, Gemini, uh, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.